Hi everyone and welcome to another edition of NJPW Extra. I'm Chris Charlton right here in the NJPW Event Center where it is the final week of the New Year's Golden Series. There's lots of hype for Windy City Riot in Chicago and other events across the US and we've got a huge match for you here today on Extra. It was the best match as voted for by the fans for NJPW Strong in 2021. Fred Rossa versus Tom Lawler for the Strong Openweight Championship. That's still to come, but first, let's take a look at what's happening around the world in New Japan Pro Wrestling this week. In Japan and the return of the New Year's Golden Series to Korakuen Hall this week saw a bittersweet ending as New Japan Pro Wrestling and its fans bid a fond farewell to ring announcer Kimihiko Ozaki. A special ceremony at the end of the event allowing wrestlers and fans alike to thank Ozaki-san for his 19 and a half years of dedicated service and an iconic voice that gave added impetus to some of NJPW's greatest matches over the last two decades. Yet as we said goodbye to Ozaki-san, Minoru Suzuki and Toriyano got very well acquainted with one another indeed in Korokuren Hall this week. Suzuki started his multi-man tag trying to handcuff himself to his KOPW 2022 challenger on February the 20th in Sapporo. Yes, Suzuki suggested a handcuff death match for the KOPW 2022 trophy, a match with no disqualifications where both men would start with one set of handcuffs attached to their wrist. That would mean that each competitor is liable to be chained to absolutely anything in or outside the ring, and that includes one another. Toriano would have larger and rather more unique equipment for his set of stipulations. Yano suggesting a dog cage match. Again, no disqualifications and no pinfalls, submissions or knockouts either. The only way to win would be to lock your opponent inside of a dog cage. And if people were struggling to think of what that might look like, Takamichinoku was an unwilling participant in a little demonstration in Korokoren. Both stipulations have been put to the vote and the winning rules will determine the match on a stacked pair of nights in Sapporo next week. In the US, NJPW Strong started with Cody Chun making his debut against Hikaleo. Prolific in Seattle's Defy promotion, Chun got a hero's welcome in Washington Hall and the crowd were all the way behind him as he landed a big slam and a springboard cutter. But as ever, there was too much Hikaleo. A power slam and the big goozle seeing a choke slam finish for the young gun. Ren Narita continued to test himself against Josh Barnett this week, and it was Narita's pain threshold being tested at the start, a heel hook sending the young man to the ropes. Narita would find some leg kicks, but was suplexed for his troubles, and then took a half hatch. But in return, the LA Dojo member found a front suplex that dropped Josh Barnett on his head. Narita hit his own half hatch for two, but Barnett would respond, captured for two, and Josh went for a double wrist lock but was transitioned and countered into an armbar. Yet Barnett would power out and after a trade of big boots would land a backdrop suplex and then an armbar for the submission. There was tag team action in our main event as Finjuice continued their issues with Jonah and the top dog's new tag team partner Bad Dude Tito. David Finley and Juice Robinson showed why they are former IWGP and Impact Tag Team Champions with quick tag work as they separated Tito from his partner. But Jonah would make the difference and tear into Juice, able to turn the match in an instant. With the match going their way, Tito would land a blue thunder on Finley. But in the end, as Juice would spear Jonah, that led to a Finley roll up and a pinfall victory against the runner play. Finn Juice victorious tonight, but Jonah and Tito absolutely furious and hungry for revenge they seek to get this week at the Vermont Hollywood at Rivals. Big, big action and big, big hype around New Japan Pro Wrestling this week around the world. In the US, the biggest hype has been for Windy City Riot. April 16th in Chicago, the Odium Expo Center, John Moxie, Tomohiro Ishii, Will Ospreay and many, many more. The tickets almost sold out in its first week on sale, you can just get those very, very limited seats. Make sure you're a part of that huge event. And other events 
in the US this spring, April 1st, WrestleCon. It's the Lone Star Shootout and a great chance to see the stars of Strong at WrestleCon. March 20th, Strong Style Evolve, Tampa, St. Pete, The Coliseum, Blake Christian, Josh Alexander, Jay White, Tom Lawler, many, many more. Make sure you're there. And of course, this week, Thursday night, the Vermont Hollywood for rivals and a stacked, stacked card as the US of J Open Challenge continues. Jay White saying he might have a free agent that's hot and ready to make his NJPW strong debut. Who's it gonna be? We've got Gabriel Kidd and Christopher Daniels and so, so much more. Make sure you're a part of Rivals in the Vermont Hollywood. But for right now, make sure you're a part of this action. It was the match of the year as voted for by you, the fans, for NJPW Strong last year, 2021. Fred Rosser challenging, finally getting that rematch against Tom Lawler for the Strong Openweight Championship. It happened in Riverside, California with Alex Kozlov and Kevin Kelly on the call. Let's head to ringside. Filthy Tom Lawler respond with Team Filthy and the haircutting of Fred Rosser. So this sets the stage now for this championship battle. And, and obviously, Jeremy Marcus is going to have to keep a hand, an eye on the members of Team Filthy outside the ring. If they are here simply for moral support. Oh, yeah, of course. Simply to be the cornerman for the champion, then that's fine. But I hope that they do not get involved to affect the outcome of this championship match. Well, wait a minute now. It looks like... The decision has been oh, made for Team that? Filthy on their own to head to the back. So here we go. The bell sounds. Our main event is underway. A strong open weight championship on the line. Filthy Tom Lawler oh, versus Fred Rosser. Fred Rosser starts this match by slapping Tom Lawler, and Lawler taking Rosser down very quickly. And this is not a, a position you want to find yourself in. Tom Lawler is a master grappler. He can bend you in ways you've never been bent before. And you know that he's renting space in Rosser's head. Yeah, no doubt. And again, the comments from Fred Rosser were, were so strong, they, they had to be censored for television. Uh, I, I think, again, that the idea of Rosser's mindset was very important for the audience to hear. Well, he wants this more than anything. Th this is what he's been aspiring for. And so there is a lot of pressure on him. A lot is riding, not just, I mean, pride too, just being bullied the way that he was. And that's everything that he stands against. It's everything that when Rosser goes and he speaks to schools and he talks to kids and youth groups all over the country and it, it, that's the message that he preaches to block the hate to stop bullying in its tracks this is the physical embodiment of a bully here in filthy tom lawler that's his style that's his modus operandi in the ring and he doesn't hide from it he is who he right. is he is filthy for a reason now looking for the single leg Great, a, t a great block by uh, Fred Rosser and taking that arm. Notice that uh, kinesio tape on the left hamstring of Fred Rosser. And again, that could be a little, it could be a lot. But it certainly could provide filthy Tom Lawler with a target. Ooh. Might have been the reason. That's a little salty right there. That would be the middle finger extended over his back to Fred Rosser. Trying to take the single leg here. Oh! Oh, dragon screw leg whip, nicely done. He hangs on to that leg. Lawler trying to retreat to the ropes, now transitioning back up to the arm. So into the ropes. You guys can't hold on to the rope. Break it, break it, break it, break it, break it. Come on, hey. And Lawler taking him to the corner there to break that. Down to the corner, come on, let's go. Let's go. Rip from Rosser. Oh. Hey. Let's go, come on, hey. Rosser turns him around. Down to the corner, let's go, come on. And uh, Jeremy Marcus is having trouble. 
having these men follow the rules here. They're, neither of them are listening to him. He doesn't even exist right now. No. Look at you. Jeremy is putting himself on the line, sacrificing his body, trying to separate squeezes, these two men. Squeezes all the way through. He's got to be careful. Oh. And, yep. and again, Tom Lawler waited. He knew the referee was going to create an opening. And now, this is not the position Fred Rosser wants to be in. Oh, my! With Tom Lawler on his back looking for the rear naked choke, Rosser dives through the ropes. That does break the hold. And now Rosser able to stand on his own two feet. And it looked like he might be lapsing into unconsciousness. And it's the strong open weight champion who's searching for a handle. The elbow and Lawler gets smashed to the floor. Again, no team filthy around ringside. A conscious decision. Part of the strategy of filthy Tom Lawler was to send the troops to the back. Lawler again knocked off the apron. This time crashes into the barricade. And now watch out. Back into the oh. barricade in the corner. The back of Lawler's head. Hit the stem and there goes Lawler. Oh set coast to coast. The barricade bent under the weight and the force of filthy Tom Lawler. Watch, Watch out. out. Oh Here he my comes. God. One, two. Tom Lawler's Three. head bouncing off this barricade here Four. as he flips, bending that, Five. bends in the barricade. How much? Six. That one's bent. Look at that one over there. Seven. Outlines of filthy Tom Eight. Lawler's body etched in the Five. Iron bars that surround the ring. And now he's got some wrist tape. Oh, Hang on a second. Now, now. Come on now. He's choking him Jeremy's with the wrist tape. He's got some wrist tape around the throat. Oh you should come God, out here. Oh, my God, he's biting him. Rosser, clearly very emotional. Breaking some rules here as he oh, put the, puts the damage on the I champ. Did. The fine line between emotion and violence. Wait a minute now. Oh. Look at Take him up for that back suplex on the edge of the ring. And Lawler holding on to that rope desperately. And oh. Uh oh, wait a minute. That was a low blow. That was a low blow. The referee didn't see it. Well, look, Tom Lawler just returned a receipt. Hey, man. He just gave a receipt to Fred Rosser for choking him with the wrist tape. And I now he's going to pay. Oh, oh, my God. Jesus. Filthy oh, no. Tom Lawler has just driven Fred Rosser right into the guardrail. Sternum first. And he could have fractured that sternum. One, two, three. Oh, oh and a hard kick. Yeah, directly targeting Five. that sternum. Six, seven, eight. Oh, my God. Go. Tom Lawler just clotheslined Five. Fred Rosser over the barricade, landing Five. hard on the hardwood floor here, right in front Eleven. of us. Wow. 13. At the count of 13 14. now and 14. So Lawler is going to. Well, I thought he was going to jump into the ring. 16. Instead, he rolls Rosser under the bottom rope. He might have been able to gain the victory via count out, retaining the title. But now we'll pin Rosser here in the middle of the ring with the cradle two and a kick out. Tom Lawler, both these men want to prove something to each other. They want a definitive victory. Let's remember that the reason why Tom Lawler cut the hair of Fred Rosser was because he was beaten. He was pinned. That's how he responded to that. Oh, my. One blemish on his record. And the educated martial art kicks here by Tom Lawler. Oh, my God. 
he is going to crack the sternum of Fred Rosser. Yes, I understand that the reason that he cut his hair was because he was pinned for the very first time. But that's how personal this rivalry is between these two. No doubt about it. We know that, you know, again, action, reaction. We saw what Lawler did. But Fred had beaten Lawler, and that's how Lawler responded. That's how dangerous a man Filthy Tom Lawler is. And they're responding, stereo kicks, smashing each oh, other. Oh, what a spinning elbow here. Let's not forget that Tom Lawler has got knockout power in his hands as well. And he's got that front face lock. Front face lock here choking the life out of Fred Rosser. And that front choke. and. Rosser is leaning underneath. He was trying to pull the arms away from his throw. Now he's trying to find a lever, trying to find a handle, some way to grip and throw. Lawler, oh, oh boy. He's got him trapped in that cravat while lifting the knees up into the face of Fred Rosser with a... Oh! Sliding Larry to the back. Rosser was grabbing his nose. One of those knees caught him directly in the nose. And now Lawler on his horse, sliding Lariat from the front side. Is this enough to keep the strong open weight championship around the waist of filthy Tom Lawler? Rosser kicks out at two. Yeah, but Rosser has taken a lot of significant damage. It's probably hard for him to breathe. The fans here trying to motivate Rosser. Oh, what a knee. And a nice bulldog here, planting him in the middle of that ring. 10 minutes have passed. 10, Ten minutes, minutes have elapsed in our championship contest. listen to the people is there a more hated man in, in New Japan strong than filthy Tom Lawler I don't understand why people here in Riverside hate him so much it's he not just our, Rivers not just Riverside he's our champion Kevin we should praise him we should cheer for him oh wait a minute now wait oh, a minute Ross are reaching through reaching through two Wait a minute, Rosser's going for it. Oh my God. No, wait. Lawler stops the path of the double knees. Ooh. Wow. Taking both knees over. A double leg dragon screw there. No, 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 no. And now looking for the cloverleaf. Oh man, and he's got it tied. Look at the way the neck is bent as Lawler's putting all the pressure. Can Fred Rosser reach over to the rope? And he does. He can. But Lawler is not letting go. How much more punishment can Rosser take? are fighting back somehow, finding the energy, whatever he's got left. Lawler staggered away, back into the middle, a little oh. bit out of the way. Oh. Payback in each one of these shots. Lawler trying to cover up. Lawler, uh, Rosser with a flurry of lariats Wait there. Wait a minute. Shoved into the corner again, sternum first. Oh, just drops him. Filthy Tom Lawler driving Fred Rosser down into the mat. He'll go for the cover. Again, another cradle and another kick out at two. In their first meeting back in 2020, Lawler was able to 
submit Rosser. Went for the same stoppage choke out again. That's when Rosser was able to pin the shoulders of the champion. But you have to believe that he's got to be looking. He's got to be looking for that tap out. No doubt about it. And you saw the reaction on Rosser when he attempted that earlier. Desperately going through the ropes in a rough landing. Oh, look at this now. Beautiful T suplex. Yep, the T-bone exploder there. Trapping the outside arm. Denying Fred Rosser again. Another cradle. Rosser's grabbing that shoulder. Beaten and battered. Trying to stay in the game. As low as Rosser might be now, the folks here in Riverside haven't given up. And now oh, yeah. he's calling for it. Now he's going to look to choke Fred Rosser out and retain. And wait a minute. Uh oh, wait a minute. Slips in behind. Rosser had a counter ready. Rosser striking him with some forearms. Could be looking for a cross-faced chicken wing here. Wow, you can see the sweat flying off the chest and back of Tom Lawler with those lariats from the front, from the back. He is wearing Tom Lawler down. He won't quit. There's no quit in him. Oh. Kick 15 minutes have passed, 15 minutes. 15 minutes gone, 15 remain in the 30 minute championship time limit. We've seen that before from Rosser as he drives the sternum into that apron. Again, the unbelievable conditioning of both men. Readily apparent with the pace of this match, as much physicality as they've had to still oh, be able to go at this high level. That. Uh oh. He's got that front face lock and the legs. Oh. Still maintaining the choke though, Alex. Oh. Rosser Ro throwing him violently, spine oh. first. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Watch out, watch out. Catapult. Oh. Into the ring post goes filthy Tom Lawler. Into the ring post goes Lawler. If there's anything that will knock out Tom Lawler, it's that ring post. That was significant damage that he just sustained there. And he's picking him up. He got him! Here comes Rosser! Wait, 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 wait! Oh! Great awareness by Lawler for the trip, dragging Rosser away. And the crowd sensing. That filthy Tom Lawler is on the doorstep to retaining this title. And he's wrapping him up. And we've seen him do this to Ren Arita. But Rosser is fighting here, resisting. Hammer fist side of the head. Oh, those are hard, hard fists. Look at Rosser with the pin. Two. Oh. Both men trying to connect. And now the choke, the rear naked choke. Rosser slips out. Lawler standing, but wobbly leg. Oh! oh the Enziguri, a blast of a kick to the back of the head. I think he's going for it again, and he's got it in tight there. Now does he waist lock like he did in their tag team encounter? Wait, Wait a, a minute. minute. 
Rosser rolls over for the pin. Ten. Oh, my God. Did you see the way filthy Tom Lawler bridged up? Well, he's got the legs over the waist, over the body of Rosser. Rosser going for the pin. That's how he did it. That is how he got to that victory over Lawler. Oh, man, right hand by Rosser. Lawler was wide open. He was checking with the referee that oh. it was two and only two, and now Rosser takes advantage. Two! Oh. oh! My God, I thought Lawler was knocked out on that one. That was a clean shot. How about the fact that Rosser went for that gut buster and wasn't unable to finish it because Lawler caught him in that ankle lock and that submission. Is he gonna try again? Oh! How about that running Death Valley bomb? Inside out goes Lawler. The clothesline by Rosser. Follows up after just a second down two, and maybe that extra split second cost him the title there. You can see the desperation on Rosser's face. His greatest desire to win the strong openweight championship. Maybe moments away, can he do it? What does he have to do? Oh! And Lawler again slips in behind. The rear naked choke applied. He's choking him while Rosser has to bear the weight of Lawler at the same time. But wait a minute. What strength. Oh! Power slammed him over. Rosser realizing the champ shoulders this could are be down. Two. Two and oh! Look at that. That's all that separates Fred Rosser from the strong open weight title. The boot of Tom Lawler on the bottom rope. And Rosser desperately here dropping those elbows over the neck of Tom Lawler. And now he's going to apply. Look at that. His own. His own choke. Wait a minute, just for a second. And now transitioning. Crossface chicken wing. Look at the look at the effect it's got on Lawler's shoulder. His shoulder's oh gonna my pop. God. His shoulder's gonna pop oh out of socket. No. He's got him wrapped up. No! No! He's got Lawler separated with enough distance from the oh, okay. gonna tap. Get it! Get it, you get it! Oh my god! Champion Will Lawler gets to the rope. Lawler continuing to try to roll away from the pain. Rosser tenacious, hanging on to that crossface chicken oh. wing, and finally one last lunge, and Lawler gets to that bottom rope. Wow. My God, how close! Did it look like we were about to crown a new champion? What is Rosser got to do to finish Filthy Tom Lawler here? All right, he's going to try it. Try this back suplex on the edge of the ring. He tried it earlier. Lawler was able to grab the ropes to block it, but now he got Lawler him. Oh my could God. not stop. Could not stop Fred Rosser. Dropped him on that unforgiven apron. And now pulls him down. What is he looking to do here? Wait a minute, watch out. Watch out. Lawler on his back. Here comes Rosser! Oh my God! Oh, oh no! Lawler catching him in the rear naked 
Christian Chogol here. One, two, three, four, five. And look, Rosser can go Six. out here. There's no rope break here on the Seven. outside. No, it's not at all. Eight. And he's got 12 Nine. seconds to. Ten. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Here in front of us, throwing Rosser, Eleven. final the end of the barricade. Whoa. 13, 14. Now both men are down. 15. They got five seconds to roll into the 16. ring. Lawler's gonna break the count. Rogers 17. To move, charging forward. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God, Tom Lawler dives in into a rear naked chokehold. And now in the center of the ring, Rosser trying to get to the ropes, trying to turn away. And he's trying to relive, relieve some of that pressure. Trying to create a little bit of distance between the arm of Tom Lawler and his throat. I'll tell you what, Boxer's trying to reach out, trying to reach out. Oh, but he's got it in tight. He could be fading. He's inches away from that rope, but he may not even know that. There's no way Fred Rosser will ever tap out. He will pass oh, out. He will is... get choked out by filthy Tom Lawler, who has successfully defended the Strong Open Weight Championship. Tadaiba the Shay, 24 Fun, 28 Mio, Champion, Tom Lawler, Senshiro, Shouri. Alex, right at the conclusion of this match. Fred Rosser rolled into the ring, and Tom Lawler, who was on the apron, dove through the ropes and caught Rosser in the rear naked chokehold. How opportunistic was he? And that is what ultimately led Rosser to tap out, but Rosser inches away, reaching he for the rope. Tapped. He never tapped never out. Never tapped out. It's a referee stoppage. Jeremy Marcus called for the bell. Fred Rosser was never going to give up, never surrender. But you've got to give the devil his due. Filthy Tom Lawler won. No controversy, no outside interference. showed his wrestling acumen by taking advantage of Rosser diving in to break the count, to lock on the rear naked choke, Alex. You were spot on. That was it right there. What a match. What a victory. Another great match right here on NJPW Extra. There'll be more action to come on next week's episode as well as a recap of the new year's golden series and a look ahead to the big time 50th anniversary celebration so much to look forward to there including that huge exhibit njpw ism in tokyo maybe it's time njpw extra goes on a little field trip that's well, something to think about anyway we'll see you next week until then gokigenyo sayonara <laughs>